Good evening. Sorry for the little delay. There was some connectivity issue on my side. Welcome to another episode of the Author Collaborative. I am really excited because I am back with another episode after a break of one week. And we have today with us an author whose book I have recently read. And she is actually a debut author. And I really enjoyed reading her book. Hello, Aruhi. Hello, Shilpa. Thank you for joining. Good evening. Hello. We have her with us. I'm just going to add her and begin today's episode. We have had enough of delay already. And just a second. She'll be here with us. Hello, Nidishi. Hello, Dan. Hello, Devansh. Yes, Devansh. Here we go. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Thank you and welcome. Hi. Hello, Manu. Hello, Nimishri again. Uh, yeah. Sorry, everyone, for the slight delay. There was some issue from my side. There was some connectivity issue. I'm glad we are here now. So, welcome yeah. everyone to another episode of the Author Collaborative. As you can yeah. see, we have our guest with us already. Kashish, before yeah. I say anything, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, why not? So, I'm a debut author. So, writing has always been a passion to me, but I never wrote. So with this debut book, Not in Search of Love, I introduced writing to the world as I love to write. So professionally, I'm a chartered accountant, or something related to finance, but writing is something, the calling of my heart, which hmm. emerged the book, Not in Search of Love. Yes. Uh, will it be possible for you to show us the book cover somehow? Okay, just a second. Yeah. I will do that in just a matter yeah. of seconds. <laughs> So I was just telling you that uh, you are a debut author and I really enjoy reading your book because it's something very uh, different from, you know, the cliche love stories and uh, both the protagonists are dealing with their own beliefs and they, you know, come together. First, there is a little friendship and then they are confused whether they want to take that next step towards, you know, defining yeah. their relationship as a love kind of a thing. So it's really beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much, Manali. I am really glad you liked the book. There's a lot of emotions interlaced and uh, it's kind of a raw thing, I would say. That yeah, it's raw. Yeah. I think I have written that in my review also, that it's uh, so beautiful because the emotions come out really raw and authentic. Uh, the yeah, heart right. Thanks. So here's the cover. I will show you the cover. Just a matter of second. Sorry for the delay from my side. It's quite running late today thank you for joining we have a lot of people joining in today because i think it's a friday and it's 10, 10 pm so everyone is free <laughs> so just a second i will show you the book cover here yes and, uh, a ca come author that's a new one congratulations on your debut oh yes we see the cover so wonderful the cover. Uh, it's a very uh, charming cover very authentic <laughs> very charming it has a rustic feel to it and uh there's only the girl, but you know, the male protagonist is equally important. But yeah. yes, it is it is the story of the girl more than the boy. Uh, Devansh is congratulating you. Uh, he's saying, uh, he's a author, that's a new one. So congratulations on your debut. He's saying. Thank you so much. Uh, Nilashree is also saying uh, congratulations on your debut. Uh, Nilashree, thank you so much for your comments. It's really so, to hear from you. Yes, uh, based on my reading, I have a few questions for you, which I want to yeah, really sure. know. Uh, so I'm ready to answer those. Yeah, sure. First, first of all, I want to know about this uh, uh, story behind the title of the book. What was your thought process when you chose such a title? Because uh, Not In Search Of Love is, you know, it gives out the kind of a thing that it will love story. Yeah. <laughs> You are very right. It actually gives the thing that it's going to be traumatic or something about separation and not believing in love. So actually yes. the title came out while I was walking on a park. <laughs> that time the title came out. But uh, before that, I rejected 12 titles to it. Oh. So every time oh, wow. the title came out, it was not going in line with the book. And ultimately hmm. one fine day, and that was a irony. I had my exams going on that time. And I was walking and the title stuck in my mind. And I was like, no, this is it. So it came out as 
like people are searching for love these times hmm. but love hmm. doesn't find you when you search for it it comes to you miraculously in unknown ways yeah so the characters of my story are not searching for love although they have checked out love completely from their lives hmm. so the thing is that they don't believe in love at all but yes. love finds them miraculously and yes. this time <laughs> true true uh, so uh, devansh is asking you related to the book cover he is asking you why is the in in a ring in in a ring that a kind of tricky thing you had to read a book to realize that <laughs> that's why it's in a ring <laughs> because it's a deep and whirlwind of emotions that it consists of yes uh, devansh is not going to give you any spoilers neither am i because uh, why that no. in is an in a ring you will only understand if you read the book <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, coming to my next question, uh, yeah. I really want to know uh, whether the story is fact or fiction. And because I have a very strong feeling that at least bits of it are related to real life incidents, and they are inspired from real life. And I also want to know what is the kind of challenge that we face while putting a story based on real life into on paper. You know, writing in in the form of fiction. how difficult or challenging is that so i must say you have quite a good intuition manali uh, yeah it's not completely fictional but it's not completely real so hmm. it's a blend of fiction and real life events that have hmm. happened around me in my life or with my loved ones especially so okay. it's a blend of everything like that's hmm. why it is so raw and authentic like because it comes from real life incidents around me hmm. many a time Hmm. So yeah, it's a blend of facts and fictions in many ways. And talking about it, I think writing fiction is easier than writing experiences, because experiences okay. can be bitter and good both. <laughs> so it seems like a <laughs> yeah yeah. I know that writing uh, based on real life is much more difficult than writing fiction. I agree. There's a lot more challenge, and also you are worried about you know. Uh, what if people figure figure out it's based on true life and how will they judge us based on that there is a fear of that also yeah it's a, it's also not the fear of judging it's like you don't get words to express what you have felt at that particular moment mm-hmm. at any ease so it kind of get very tricky when you describe your real life incidents <laughs> true 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 now before we go any further yeah. uh, i want you to read out a passage or from the book so that people get an idea of Why we are talking about the yes. book so much? <laughs> yeah, sure, go on. <laughs> so, uh, tell us, uh, give us a context about uh, which paragraph we will be reading and what chapter it is from. <clears throat> so I have to read it from your book. Okay. You have to. <laughs> okay, so I have this. I wouldn't read a particular passage. Hmm. There are some shyies I've endured in my book, so I actually love them. So I would read the shyie. Okay, sure. And a yes. poem that is embedded in the first page of the book. Okay. So the shayari is the Hindi shayari. The one is the when I love really much. कुछ अपने होते हैं, कुछ अजनबी होते हैं. फिर आते हैं वो अपने. आज फिर आते हैं वो अजनबी जो अपने होते हैं. Wow. I think I have also uh, mentioned this yeah. in my review because uh, I really love this particular shayari. Not just this. I think I have loved all the shayaris and I have highlighted them all throughout the book. They are wonderful. They like they are a part of the story, but they tell a story of their own. Yeah, very right. They actually increase the emotional intensity of the story for me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we come to my favorite part, which is the rapid fire one. Are you ready? I'm just sure. going to. open the questions till the time if we have any questions yeah i do yes, uh, devansh has clapped for your shayari uh, thank you so much devansh that's so sweet of you <laughs> okay so my first question to you in this round is giving another chance to an ex lover or holding on to the hope of finding someone new why i guess that totally depends on the situations Second chances are worth if the person is worth, but it doesn't render the scope of finding love once again as ruthless. So mm-hmm. it depends on person to person. For me, it will be like if personally I have to comment on this, then if a second chance is worth a mm-hmm. hundred new chances, then it is surely a second chance. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> very, very wisely said. Thank you. <laughs> 
Okay, I my... didn't reveal the story also. Yeah. Yes, very smart. I must uh, comment on that. Yeah, <laughs> without giving away any spoilers, you have answered it very wisely. <laughs> My next question is: uh, What part yes. of the corporate uh, life or job appeals to you, and what part is it that you like the least? Okay, so coming to the least first, you don't mm. you'd say bad things first. Mm. So it's like sometimes life gets very hectic; you don't get time. So the long working hours are a part of a least desired thing in my life because you really get time. Then the best part is you get to learn a lot. Hmm. and i love the learning that comes my way every day so that is the thing i have really grown with corporates hmm. so i love that learning part with it wow yeah the learning bit is really something you know we can all yeah. of course it leads to growth so it's appealing to everyone <laughs> my yeah. next question is in your free time would you rather netflix and chill or read a book or go out i would read a book <laughs> that that's given like spoken like a true bibliophile <laughs> yeah exactly you know i travel 2 hours one way daily and all i do is read kindle <laughs> yeah uh, kindle is any book actually is your best friend in your commute for whatever you are doing yeah <laughs> true exactly uh, my next question is a recent movie or series that you have watched or read and you know okay what would you would you recommend and why so i recently finished these three seasons of never ever ever mm. and i was being, <laughs> and i recommend i was recommended it and i was like two days and i finished the whole book <laughs> whole series i was so engrossed in the series it was so good yeah yeah it's really fun i agree yeah. it's really good and- uh devi is a character we can all you know learn from she is an embarrassment to herself <laughs> and to everyone so i'm like yeah. i get you girl <laughs> yeah in every season she is so much evolving that it's a lesson to everyone yeah uh we have a question where are you from we are both from india thank you for asking yeah thank you for asking uh okay my next question in the last question in the rapid fire round an actor okay. would love to see see playing a character written by you Okay, that's a kind of tricky. So I personally have a tight, tight bit of little crush on Nakul Mehta every mm-hmm. time because every time he plays a character, he just gives his soul to it. Mm-hmm. So if I would see to love play Vivaan every time, then it will be him. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Yeah, I think he will go well also with the character. Mm-hmm. Suits his personality. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, so that brings me to the end of my questions that i had for you yeah. the floor is all yours yes manali i just read your book you know every time i used to commute to work daily i used to open your poem and you know what was the irony it used to match with my situations every oh, now wow. and then <laughs> and it was such a bliss i can't tell you to read the book that's why i took a lot of time to read the book <laughs> that was really, really good uh, that you were able to relate uh, not only to the, to yourself but yeah. like the current situation you were in that's wonderful yeah yeah actually the way you have to strike failures home homecoming and that everything i just loved it life full of full circle that poem on the second page is so beautiful like <laughs> i have lived it <laughs> so and uh, at one point you are like acceptance aa hi jata hai ab kitna hi gussa karoge tum <laughs> Exactly, exactly. That's very pretty. So, Manali, that comes me to question you now. You have asked me a lot of questions. So, my first question to you comes here. The cover of the book is so thoughtful, and I would love to know what's the story behind it. It's so <laughs> efforts, much of efforts here. Uh, yes. Uh, so, I always uh, had this concept in mind where where I wanted to show a contrast. So, uh, I either wanted to go to film it. Yes. uh where you know a uh, light and dark is shown a person's face is shown a little in the light a little in the dark like you know two opposing things i wanted to show light and dark uh, i looked at a few options i also made the covers of those but in, it was not like ha ah, yeah yeah this is it this is what i want i was looking okay. at other options then i was like let's focus just on the face because you know uh, we are talking so much about the mind uh, the poems are all related to mental health and the way we feel so i just 
decided to focus only on the face then rather than the whole body i was like let's show only the face so i came upon this particular image that you see on the cover right now yeah i i done that image then i did a little bit of color shading in that it was gray and black but i turned it into blue and uh yeah. blue and gray grayish and blackish gray, gray, i showed it that uh, image conversion yeah many color image conversion you can see it in the background also so that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very much person visible <laughs> yes so then i put in the text and then i put in my name and then i also tested it out on my kindle to see how it looks okay. in the form of a cover so i was like nay this this is it i want to go ahead with this <laughs> that's that how the feeling of happened. getting ahead with it is so yeah. good yeah. yeah this this cover is really beautiful i just love the name and cover both <laughs> thank you so much Okay the next question here is what inspires you to write these poems and stories like every poem has such a soulful experience i'm really curious to know about it uh in general if we are talking uh, my love yeah. for reading and you know my forever fascination with language uh, and the power of words that that's just my biggest inspiration to write any if we talk specifically about this book if the inspiration was the idea to you know uh, make people feel less lonely make people feel like okay. it's okay we go through various emotions all good and bad emotions it's fine we learn yeah. from it grow from it whatever the experiences and whatever the emotion we feel through our experiences it's fine uh, we can learn from it we can move on we can grow and we are not alone the way we will react to that particular emotion might be different but we do feel a certain kind of emotion at each point in our life hum sabko yeah. feel hota hai we all feel angry we all feel grief we all feel pain we all feel the hurt so it's all right and having negative and positive emotions is a part of life for everyone so that was the motive and that was the inspiration for uh, this particular book that's very thoughtful manali and it actually reflects in the book at every point so Thank i tell you, you my so favorite was life full of circle home and homecoming i've read it multiple times oh wow so i feel like yaad ho gayi hai mujhe ha the one she's asking is that love triangle i see yes uh, you can actually see three of my books here so there is a yeah. uh, my latest work one poem poem next to it is, is uh, under the mistletoe and other stories and the one you see below in the blue color that's my book love triangle itni raat ko koi itna makeup karta hai kya yahan pe raat nahi hui hai thank you <laughs> there are always people like that yeah we we'll ignore and moving on <laughs> yeah yeah moving on So let's come to the rapid fire now. Yes. But I would like to, you to show a closer look to the cover of your book. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just a minute. Yeah. I will hold it in my hand only. I have it yeah. on my computer. People should see, right? What an artistic version it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. <laughs> so this is what the cover looks like. This is very beautiful, Manali. Thank you. This is really beautiful. <laughs> we got a troll in the dungeon. Yes, yes, Devansh, we got a troll in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a troll, and I would like to cover the troll with artistic things. Like when you open the book, you will go into a land full of artistry. That's why when I review it, although I have not posted the full review, I'm yet to post it. But I have it specifically written. It is artistically presented. Everything is so good, so good. Thank you, thank you so much. It makes me feel really happy when people are able to, you know, connect with what I'm. I have been. I have tried to say through the poems. Yes. Now the rapid fire questions for you. Yes. A song that sweeps your heart away. Ah, uh, I think Mitwa. No, no other song touches me the way Mitwa does, and uh, just those lines. Uh, ये जिंदगी है ना ची तो तू बेड़ियों में है तेरे पाँव इट्स वांडरफुल इट्स वेल एंड सांग सो वेल या इट्स आई सम ट्यून सो वेल या दैट्स वन सॉन्ग आई 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 कैन नेवर स्किप व्हेन एवर इट कम्स अप ऑन शफल और जस्ट एनी वेर इट शोज़ अप आई हैव टू लिसन टू इट कंपलीटली आई कैन नॉट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सॉन्ग 
would you like an old school romance or this modern dating game especially tinder bumble everything no yaar i i don't uh, connect with this modern dating culture at all uh, i am an old school soul so i am i have nothing against it in fact in my own book i have you know uh, told a story where the girl is confused about two boys so i'm totally all for it it's just that i don't connect with it yeah right लॉट I think quitting my full time jobs and deciding to become a uh, full time full time freelance writer I think that was the biggest turning point if I had not done that none of my books would have been born uh, I would have continued doing a corporate job I would never have picked up the courage to you know uh, publish even one book so I think that was a major turning point after publishing six books I have realized that you know uh, it takes a lot of courage to do what i have done and i yeah. would not have built up that courage if i had not built up the courage to you know give up a full time job and focus only on writing yeah that it was a lot of courage i can never do it <laughs> because <laughs> that actually requires a lot of courage yeah. because when the salary credits every month in your account it's an ongoing process you can bitch it yeah <laughs> i understand it does uh, take a lot of thinking and a lot of courage it's a it has to be a well thought out process you cannot take it overnight wo to hai i am clarifying this because i don't want people to be, get encouraged by what i did it's a well actually, has to be a well know, thought out process. people actually i have seen many people this needs attention they see just the rosy picture that books are doing good and they should also go for it and they don't pursue their careers for good hmm hmm so it's so, very very yeah, important i don't encourage that kind of a thing uh, also if you are thinking of becoming a full time author also think about what you can do besides being an author uh, just being an author you will not be able to earn enough to sustain yourself ke sath sath kuch karna padega you have to have various streams of income along with being an author yeah exactly very right very true sir so manali the last question i will toss to you you will get tricked in this one i'm sure mm-hmm. so are these poems based on your real life incidents inspired by people around you or specifically you i would like to know so uh, i think over 25 to 30% of them are inspired by my own life uh, other poems i would say uh, are from incidents that i have heard from people they have come and narrated to me or the or of the incidents that i read somewhere न्यूज में आते रहते हैं कुछ ना कुछ ऐसी ऐसी स्टोरी सो आई कीप माई आईज एंड ओपन टू सच स्टोरी एंडिंग फ्रॉम Okay. Surely uh since you have been talking about homecoming so much i think i should read yeah. that one only yeah that is beautiful home and homecoming both are so beautiful homecoming padhte hain uh because yes. i think uh, home one i have read in a previous session okay. sometime sure. homecoming is something i have not yet read for anyone just give me a second
Yes. So this poem is titled Homecoming. Hello, Shivani. Thank you for joining. We have quite a few people today. Thank you, everyone, for joining. So the poem is uh, Homecoming. Homecoming. Rejoice it. An arrival after ages. Mind, body, heart, and soul. All eagerly awaiting. With stars and tearful eyes that matched those on his uniform. The sacrifice worth the pride. A hero. A hero returns, a family rejoices, a nation secured. Beautiful. That's so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel to, free to ask. Uh, we will stay here live for a few more minutes in case you have any questions for us. Or Jani se pehle ek bar or we were discussing each other's books. Uh, Kashish's book is her debut book, her debut novel, which is titled Not in Search of Love. And you are talking also about my book, which is titled A Piece of Your Mind for Peace of Mind, which is a poetry collection. And Kashish's book is a novel. Both of them are available on Kindle currently only as an e-book. So <laughs> we don't have paperbacks yet. Uh, Kashish Agarwal also write, likes to write books. Yes, I have mentioned this in my review of her book that I loved all the shairies and poems that are a part of her debut novel. So, someday soon, Kashish, we all want to see just a poetry book from you. <laughs> I will really try that. <laughs> yes, uh, if nobody has any questions, we'll end the session here then. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you Kashish for being a part of this. I know this uh, this must be the first time you are coming and doing such a public appearance as an author, right? Yeah, right. It was such a great experience to me. <laughs> I'm glad uh, I started it off and wish you all the luck for any future sessions. If you do any, any such sessions in the future with anyone else. I hope to see you, your face on your Instagram and your uh, you know, uh, social media much more. <laughs> <laughs> because you have a lovely face and, and it helps to put a face to the name that you know you are reading about. So yeah, congratulations right. and we look forward to having many more books from you. All the best for that and congratulations on your debut. Thank you for joining me and thank you to everyone else also who joined us. Any any closing remarks from you? Any any closing remarks from you, Kashish? It's just that it's been beautiful and you have been so patient to just render me here and just make it all happen. I just love you, Manali. <laughs> Thank you so much. We feel really good that I'm able to connect to you so well to you. Uh, can we hear a poem from Kashish? She already read out a poem, uh, which was one of my favorite poems and the one which appears in the beginning of her book. So you can... Check it out on this video itself, which will be uploaded on my Instagram page and also on my YouTube. So your wish is already fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, you just a I mean, tad bit of late in joining. <laughs> yes. So uh, thank you once again and good night. Uh, I hope to do this again with you sometime soon. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, Bye Manali.